Hi, I try to explain the conditional expression in Python instead of using if else if block. It's a much simpler way to represent if else if block. Earlier we have understood the if else if block in order to branch our code on the basis of some condition. In Python we do have a conditional expression that's going to represent this if else if block in a much simpler way, smarter way rather. Let us try to understand this with this example. Here we have a, a function is even function that I have written which is receiving a, a number as parameter and testing whether this number is an even number or odd number. The logic is simpler straightforward as we know that the even number is a number that is divisible by 2 and odd number is a number that is not divisible by 2. So we are testing whether the number is even number or odd number whether the number supplied to this function is even or odd by using the modulus operator and testing the remainder whether it is zero or not. Here you can understand this, the logic is straightforward, quite straightforward rather. We are trying to find out the remainder here. If the remainder is equals to zero, then obviously it's a even number because the number two divides the number exactly. Otherwise, if the remainder is not equals to zero, then it's an odd number. If it is an even number, then the function is returning true if it is an odd number, it is returning false. So we can test it whether it is correct or not using this if else. Now, if I am passing 101, it is returning false. As you can see that it is returning false here. So if I pass 100, I'll test it, it is returning true. So as far as of using is if else statement, we can understand this coding. But my objective is to demonstrate the conditional expressions in Python. Instead of this, let us try to understand the conditional expression now. I am just commenting this. Sorry, I am just commenting this instead of this. And writing the conditional expression. The general format of the conditional expression is that something like this. So Z is equal to A if condition else b now it's quite straightforward the cunt is the condition here it is the condition let us write it with c now c is the condition if this condition is true then the value of j is going to be a otherwise the value of j is going to be b so it's simple straightforward intuitive now try to understand try to rewrite our code to find out whether a given number is even or odd using this conditional operator so i can write something like this z is equal to true i'm sorry i'm extremely sorry z is equal to true if number percent 2 is equal to 0 if that's our condition else false so the value of z is going to be true if this condition is true that means if the number if 2 divides the number exactly otherwise it's going to have false so this is just like the same if else statement you can understand this the equivalent is this one this is the condition if this condition is true then this true will be assigned to z Otherwise, if this condition is false, instead of this true, then this is going to be assigned to this z. Now, we will be returning z to the caller. Let us return z to the caller. Now, try to execute this. I'm passing say 200 this time or 201 now it's false it's working fine 200 it is true it's working fine now we can we can write it in a single line instead of these two lines we can make it simpler much smarter we can return the value at that point immediately after the evaluation without using that variable z that will make it much smarter now the return statement is going to return true if this condition is true otherwise it's going to return false now we can even nest this conditional expression 
uh, if l if else if that is the case now let us try to understand that thing using another example suppose that we need to write a function something like this def calculate x comma y the function is going to return oh, oh a colon should be here the function is going to return x plus y if x is greater than y greater than equals to y otherwise it's going to return x minus y now if the condition should be here x is greater than y then the function is supposed to return x plus y then what should we write here oh, again i'm mistaking it should be a colon oh, oh. home yes now return x plus y uh, if x is greater than y then it should return x plus y otherwise it should return x minus y okay sorry now if i supply this say print calculate 10 comma 20 let us try to understand what let us try to observe what it prints actually i'm sorry again i am mistaking it's colon it's minus 10 okay 10 is greater than 20 greater than equals to 20 false 10 greater than equals to 20 that's false it comes to the else part it is returning x minus y that's minus 10 now if i pass something like this 120 so it is going to do something like this 120 that's okay now we can rewrite this expression using simple conditional expression let us comment it now what i'm doing here uh, z is equal to x plus y if x is greater than is equal to y else x minus y it is going to work fine oh, where is the mistake z is equal to x plus y if x greater than is equal to y i think a bracket should be here no I'm sorry I have not returned anything from the function that's a common mistake yeah yeah now this is correct 120 now this okay now if I say something like this backwards are not necessary I hope so these are not necessary at all yes it's 120 now I can check it with some other values as we had errors okay it's 121 now if i have 2001 okay it's minus 1000 now it's correct now let us try to understand something more now if i need to do something like this say in case of x greater than is equal to y it is returning x plus y in case of x less than y it is returning x minus y now what if we want in case of x greater than y it should return x plus y in case of x less than y it should return x minus y in case of x equals to y it is going to it should return x into y so we have to have another l if between this the previous 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 if else statements so l if x less than y it should return x minus y and there is one more task that we need to do and if they are equal that means the else part it will come to the else part only if x and y are equal in that case we want to return x into y so it will work now fine let's try to understand let's try to evaluate this if it is 10 comma 20 it's going to return i'm sorry again again i'm making the same mistake yes it's going to have minus 10 now if it is 100 comma 20 it's 120 it's okay now if both the numbers are equal let's have 100 and 100 that's a good number 
it's 10,000. Uh oh, now it's okay, it's fine. Now it's 10,000, it is working here actually. When the numbers are equal, it's coming to the else part and returning x into y. Now, what is happening here? We can understand that. Now, let us try to rewrite the same code using the conditional expression. Now, if x plus y will be the value of z, if x is greater than y, else now we have else part here what should it be if x less than y it should be x minus y else it should be x into y should be something like this x minus y x plus y if x greater than y else else should be written something like this else x minus y sorry extremely sorry as I'm not comfortable with this uh, I can understand it requires lots of practice and we will be doing this in our course else 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 x minus y if x is less than y and then else x into y now this is correct i hope so x plus y will be returned if this condition is true else x minus y will be returned if this condition is true x less than y is true else if that is again false it is going to return that means when x and y are equal it is going to return x into y okay now let, let us try to check this well it is working fine 10 and 10 well it is working fine 10 and 100 well it's working fine so that's it thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this I'll try to upload some more useful, uh, uh, useful topics with this Coursera, uh, Coursera, Coursera, Coursera course that we are doing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.